today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Justin Herbert and the L.A. Chargers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the New England Patriots. Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway in Foxborough. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first round pick in 2020. Man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. Has he taken Herbert long to earn the status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers? He's locked and loaded on every snap. And the second he sees an opening, the ball soaring downfield. You've got to be on your A game at all times against him. The second you slip up, he's liable to burn you. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. Well, if they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory, that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game. Yeah, one thing you always say when you go on the road, take the crowd out of the game. They actually brought the crowd into it by permitting that sack right out of the gate. So a tough early challenge here, second and long after the sack. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Apparently this defense is going to play. A sack and a run stuff on the line on the first two plays. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now it's Herbert. catch that was no third and two that was third and 16 but they get the conversion anyway so the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10 herbert will give this one to eckler just a yard of the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine that felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go and everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line and they hold him to just a yard and this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Here's Herbert. And this is going to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. So here come the Patriots now on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, 
but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Throwing Jones. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Now Jones. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he's tackled at the 38, but they doubled their yardage. The play started at the 19, and they gained 19. Well, first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw, Jones. Airing this one out for Evans. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get, and the more calm and controlled you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against him. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. Stevenson is into the end zone. Touchdown, New England. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. Nick Folk for the point after. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Charger drive about to get going. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They started on the ground with Eckler. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is, possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 30 on second down. Herbert. Herbert has it knocked free. So they've got the football, and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes. If they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback, they've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, uh, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. Stevenson now on first and 10. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 
A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Pretty effective opening quarter for him. Remember, he had the touchdown run earlier, and if he pops more of these 10 to 20-yard carries, it could be a long game. Yeah, those types of explosive runs wear down a defense. I think they need to add more people to the box closer to the line of scrimmage, force them to throw the football, and see if they can slow them down that way toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Back to throw. Jones completes it to Aguilar. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Stevenson. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Travis Patriots' decision to go for it pays off with six points. I saw you nodding your head in approval. We're not in the late stages. This isn't the fourth quarter, but the decision to go for it, a good one. Yeah, I like it, you know, a lot of times early, too, because it sets the tone for what you're going to do throughout the ball game, and it tells your team you're planning to be there to be aggressive, and you're planning to win the game. And sometimes they come along with your thinking. And they only had one yard to go, and they got it in. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive is starting with first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Herbert now. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll take this down to the 33. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Herbert on third down now. And that is incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. 
One of them said, press the kicking game. For here's where the breaks are made, is the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. Now Jones throwing to start the drive. Airing this one out for Evans. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Now this is Kelsey, a tight end carry. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. They go play action here on first down. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag comes out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard away changes what your play calls are going to be. Well, they go with a tight end carry. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Running on first down, Eckler. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. No, they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Up the middle with Eckler. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Herbert. Open man, it's Palmer. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And 
this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. 21 to 3 is your score after one. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. Oh, what a move. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A handoff, it's Eckler. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. to throw here, Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Josh Palmer, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are able to cut into that deficit. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. Extra point right down the middle, and it makes the score 21 to 10. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. From the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. back out getting set to go and thus far the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit they've looked good so far in the first half they certainly have and think back to our meeting with the head coach and we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game didn't we we said hey have you prepared for this and he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions the wet ball drills things of that nature he's oh a leap and he will make the catch and they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 33 yards that time. The big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half, and everything that they've tried has worked. And there's another example right there. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones airing this one out for Evans. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. But one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Back to throw. Jones. Got the connection here to Bourne. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here. 
and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Now a play fake here on first down. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. It's a six-yard touchdown pass as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. On for the extra point is Folk. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive spanned five plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This one fielded at the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo? Puts it on the carpet, it's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. All these years we've been watching the game, I start to get the sense that whenever it rains out, those guys have to touch the ball and carry it. They're extremely resentful about that weather. Yeah, I'm just happy I'm not resentful that we have a roof over our heads. I know that much. Yeah, maybe we won't fumble our play sheets here as we just saw the fumble happen on the field. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Following the fumble recovery, Jones looking for the end zone. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. On second and ten, Jones. He completes it to Henry. And they'll get this down to the ten. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Pats continue to pull away here in this first half. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of mismatch in that area. Extra point up and good by Folk. And a route is on here in this first half. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From the six. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Herbert, and that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. On the give, this is Eckler. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up. 
off before he was planted in the backfield. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Operating from the gun, Herbert. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Matt Judon. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. These sacks are starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Patriots take over. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football, it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow, and, I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that, so I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and 11. Airing this one out for Evans. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Open man to tight end Henry. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. Brandon, I have one word for you after that completion for a first down. Lucky? Analytics. <laughs> well, the analytics say they punt the football there. <laughs> so we're changing the analytics as we go, right? What a big-time play for them. And really took a big-time chance. Yeah, big-time first-half chance. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Jones keeps it himself. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. It's been a good drive so far. They just wanted to keep it going, so they call low-risk, low-reward play. No one's worried about picking up big yardage here. Quarterback sneak, keep the chains moving, and pick up another first down. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 51 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he's got some space here. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. That good for 19 at a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Absolutely a golden opportunity missed there to add to their lead and really cap off an impressive drive because they've got the advantage and plenty of time to add to it. But on the flip side, plenty of time for an opposing comeback as well. So when you have the chance to distance yourself from the so early, partner, you know you don't want to let it slip away. On second down, Eckler, and he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. 
Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Looking to throw. Herbert. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine. And it'll be back to a third and three. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And that is incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. Sometimes those punt returns can yield some unnecessary roughness penalty. Now, I know a lot of guys, when they run a long way to execute a block or make a hit, they're going to launch it no matter what, and it can often cost them. Jones now on first and 10, airing this one out for Evans. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. So uh, really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They've had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Back to throw. Herbert. And this is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. 48, 48, Mike. Looking to throw. Herbert. Got a man. It's complete. It's Palmer. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. A little short pass. This is Everett. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Working with a second and three. Again, he'll drop to throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. On first down, Justin Herbert, and he fires one that's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, he saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. And he'll get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And now Nick Fulk, his career long, 56 yards. 
And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. The folks' kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one, maybe not the hard-fought battle many had hoped for. This has been blowout city thus far, but... Still more football to be played. Who knows what could happen as we send you right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they get the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Under a heavy rush and down Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 30. Needed 13. They got 14 on third down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a handoff. Stevenson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Back to throw. Jones and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete that certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down second and short I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion and this one is incomplete my first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. Kelsey, a nice catch. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. How about 
about that. They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On the handoff, Stevenson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Give them two yards. That sets him up first and goal. It's no accident. They've been moving the ball well all game long. This offensive line has done an excellent job adapting to everything the defense is throwing at them and creating holes for their runners. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Here's a sneak with Jones. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the sneak. Kind of a wasted play there, and now it's third down. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. A uh, familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening it up. You may get some playing time in this one. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Charger drive about to get going. Herbert off of play action. He's got a man. It's his fullback. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Out of the gun, Eckler running it, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Looking to throw, Herbert. Complete. We'll go down as a game of six. And that's going to make it fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called for and made, but they may back him up 10 here and have him do it again. So holding there on the return, and that'll back him up to start the next drive. Yeah, that's a pretty easy call right there, partner. I think when the officials look in their manual and see the expression, jersey getting pulled, that's a flag coming out every time. Here's Jones off the play fake. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. 133 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pickup there, 26 yards. 
Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just now been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Sebastian Joseph Day breaking through for the sack. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Airing this one out for Evans. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush, a lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They run once more with Stevenson. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Folks, kick is good. Extend their lead even further. So tack on three more, though this, it's just a rare drive where they did not find the end zone. Yeah, you're right about that, partner. But at this point, I don't think you're too concerned about that. You just want to possess the football for a while and drain the clock. If you can get three out of it, that's great, too. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That burst good for 20 and a first down. From the 50, here's Herbert. He'll find Williams on the slant. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Eckler now between the tackles. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On second down, Spiller looking for space. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'll go right back to Spiller here on first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Nifty move. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And his kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit.
kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white flag? Waving the flag. I, I just want to get that. out of here. Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last time they were able to churn some clock, they got the field goal, added on to their lead, but that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game, but we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive, and he's going to profess that he was happy to get points, but and we know it? that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 160 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Here's Stevenson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line is going to... on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Back to throw. Jones. This one to Bourne out on the left side. He'll get it inside the 20. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A big play there for New England. 42 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. Say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Off play action. Jones. Blitz coming and down he goes. And the sack leads to roughly a loss of six, and it brings up second and goal. Another try after the first down sack. Jones looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That pass an incompletion. I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Travis Kelsey punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots continue to pour it on here in the fourth. And that rushing touchdown is fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Extra point up and good by Folk. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. 
This one fielded at the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Charger drive about to get going. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. From the gun, Herbert on third down. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Matt Judon, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Well, partner, you and I will be headed to the airport, but after this game, when it's interview time, someone's going to ask this quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. This whole day, it's been rough. Barring a miraculous comeback, this offense isn't going to win this game, but he's probably going to say hurt most is the loss. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Jones throwing to start the drive. And they get Jones for the third time in this ball game. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. After the turnover, here's Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. On first down, it's Herbert. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping it for the sack. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Quick slant complete to Keenan Allen. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Jones on the return. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. And there to make the tackle, Khalil Mack. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And it appears we have a Charger shaken up on that last play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. They only got a couple, but a couple is all that they needed as they convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Off the play fake, Jones. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. To throw again, Jones. And throw right side complete to Park. 
Walker. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As he'll go from the 47 now on first down. Looking to throw. Jones. Open man here, the tight end Henry. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now. Still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. The Chargers are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. From down near his goal line here, Herbert. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Jerome Bentley. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This one fielded at the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Working the middle here, that's complete to Everett, the tight end. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the four.
Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Well, this is caught by Williams. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now it's Herbert. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. To throw once more on second and ten. Herbert. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Herbert back to the air. He finds his man complete. That's Palmer. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. They'll run for it with Eckler. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20 gain of 27 on the catch and run. But they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start and pass plays like we just saw. They're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way. And plays like that across all phases of the game, they've just been effortless for them in this one. And that's what's helped them build such a large lead and allowed them to smile as this game continues. Now Jones... And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he stops right at the 25 after a gain of five. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Throwing Jones. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. They'll give him four yards there. And it'll be fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. That one looks like he'll throw here. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. But Charles are still airing it out at this point despite that huge lead. And some people may be saying, well, why are they throwing the football? These guys, I guess, are just padding their stats at this point. Yeah, a lot of big grins, I think, from people in their families, from themselves. You're exactly right. Pad the stats when you get an opportunity. It'll certainly help contract down. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Off play action. Jones. And give him another six. It's gone for a touchdown. And the blowout continues. Well, when they said before the game that they were going to try and execute every second of this contest, I, I guess that that was taken literally because here they are in the final moments of the fourth putting another touchdown on the board, Charles, to add to this big lead. Not a big believer in 110%, but it certainly applies here, doesn't it? Because some guys just can't go with less. As long as there's time left on the clock, they're pushing to get to the end zone one more time. They don't really care about what the optics show. They just want to finish the game off the way that they like to play it. Full 
speed. Personally, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. Fulp now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This one fielded at the five. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And that will write a finish to this ball game. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And it was a game where they were off and running in the first quarter, Charles, and never looked back. You know, partner, after a while, we always say the same thing, don't we? They set the tone early, right? They started fast. So I asked a few of my horse racing friends, do you have a term for me that we can use to cover that? And they said, yeah. When a horse breaks out like that, you say he caught a flyer out of the gate. And that's exactly what this team did today. I mean, they jumped out there, jumped on them, and were never headed. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.